So this is our case from our course directory, uh, which I posted earlier on today. I asked you which side is the abnormality, what sort of symptoms did this patient turn up with? Very important, this slide. And the abnormality is staring at you. And the abnormality is that you can see the sulcation on this side, but you can't see them very well on this side, the left side. What that means is there's a lot of swelling going on in the left side. Now, swelling in a young brain is difficult to pick up. This is a young patient who has come up with right-sided weakness, right arm and leg weakness. So we're thinking this could be, could be a stroke. And let's look at some of the other things that we look out for in a stroke. As we can see that the MCA is hyperdense. This is what we call a string sign. The proximal MCA, middle cerebral artery, has got a clot in it. Uh, and therefore, this would be in keeping with a right-sided MCA infarct. Now, this is quite early on. This was caught quite early on, and this was missed. So this patient, unfortunately, did not have uh, the, the adequate treatment. As you can see, this, in all this area, is very much smoothed compared to the right side. This would indicate that this patient is having an, an acute infarct. Now, everything else on the scan looks relatively normal. This is a 20-year-old patient. As we scroll through, there's not much else going on, really. Uh, but still, whenever you look, compare this side, the left side with the right side, you can see the sulcation on the right side. But on the left, they're very, very smooth, and there, there isn't much CSF space, which would indicate that there's generalized edema on the left side. Look at this. You can see all the sulcation on the right. On the left, it's much more less. And you're thinking, why am I saying such subtle things? If you don't believe me, same patient, right? Same patient. A few hours later, wasn't treated. And look what's happened. Now you can, anybody can pick this up, but that doesn't take a genius to pick this up at this stage. This is a young guy who's had a massive stroke and it should really have been picked up at this stage. So I hope you found this case useful. Remember the trick is look out for the localized swelling, especially in young patients. And look at the asymmetry of the CSF spaces. Now we go into CSF spaces in a lot more detail. Uh, unfortunately, I can't cover very uh, all of that in, in a few moments, but a lot more detail in the course. But if you find this useful, let us know.